back to the channel. Uh, we are out here. It is February 20th on a Sunday afternoon. Beautiful day. Oh my gosh, it is yeah, so pretty. Yeah, real pretty. I mean, it's not that warm, but it, I mean, that sunshine makes I'm it feel... I'm comfortable in a sweatshirt. Yeah, so it's warm. <laughs> it's actually 118 inside the greenhouse. I propped the door open as soon as we got home to let that thing air out, but uh, I don't know. It's probably about 50 now or something. Yeah, it's gonna in get the up, 50s. Gonna get up in the upper 50s. But anyhow, we're gonna do some potting up of some seedlings that we've got. We we uh, planted these uh, dahl dahlias from from seed um, on January 6th. So that's been what about six weeks ago or something mm -hmm. like that. And but they you can see they they're really overdue for being potted up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to um, we're gonna take cuttings from them and, and do propagation through cuttings of them and then that will leave just a small plant to have to pot up. So that's uh, gonna give us double the amount of plants. Um, so anyhow, let's, let's shoot you down here so you can take a look closely at what I'm doing here. Okay, so I got a bucket of water here to just toss them in, but let me just kind of get some of them out of the way uh, real quick to, uh, and then we'll try to show you what we're doing in more detail when, the, uh, when you're able to see a little bit better. While he's trimming that, I would like to say a special welcome to the Finally Home and Bama family. We've got quite a bit of new subscribers here lately. Oh yeah. So we are really glad that you've joined us here on our channel and hopefully we're going to be able to provide you some encouragement or some knowledge and different things and just join us for the ride as we're building our suburban homestead here. Yeah. And the Brown Thumb Nursery Channel if you- Absolutely. Uh, right, yeah. So whichever one you're watching it on go to the other one and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> right because we'll probably both be posting some stuff from this okay i'm trying to get some stuff out of the way so you can see what i'm doing but uh let's see here okay so take a look here i want to leave enough so she can pot up a good plant um so i'm what i'm doing is going right below that node there um and then i'll end up taking off those leaves in fact those kind of broke so i'll take those leaves off too but that there will be a cutting and that actually could be i could probably get two cuttings out of that but th i'll just do one cutting from each one but that leaves i don't know if you can even see that leaves a leaf node there for it to split off and branch onto so i want to make it make sure i leave at least one one good leaf node down there in fact maybe two sometimes so it doesn't really matter Oh, yep. Yeah. One of the reasons, uh, dahlias are absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful, beautiful flowers. Um, but I'm kind of excited that we're able to do this because one of the things that we're hoping to do with all of the flowers that we're planting is we would like to take some bouquets to a farmer's market around here locally. Yeah. So that will be wonderful. And all twisted together so many of them i think i planted about 50 seeds in this container if i remember right and we've succession planted so we have more coming up in our grow room right now yeah i think i've got another 24 going in there maybe okay so these things are so uh tender like and um need moisture so much that's why i'm putting them directly in the water because i don't want that uh, i don't want them to dry out at all so that's why i got the bucket of water here boy that's i don't even have anything that's the first node right there oh my goodness okay i think i'll just leave that all right I'll get her in the pot a little deeper. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, really want to show this. See how it's already starting to sprout? Go put the, grab the camera and put it right down here and show how that this is already branching out. And this is what's going to happen right here. See how at, the, at this node, it's already got two more branches 
Brent, are you able to see it pretty good? Yep. So when I when I cut this here, this is what's going to happen to all of these. They're all going to branch out with multiple um, multiple branches. So that's why we cut them down to give them more, and then that will give them a stronger base to uh, grow from. I think I got most of them. See, that one's already got, look at those two big old branches coming off of this one here. So. Nice. Yeah. I think that's about it. Well, those leaves just break off really easy. So. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide and conquer. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the cuttings over here behind us to the uh, propagation frame and I'm taking the seedlings into yeah. the greenhouse. She's going to get them things potted up. So you're going to watch her and you're going to watch me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we go. All right. Hey, puppy. All right. So now Lolly and I are going to go ahead. We're going to take our little cups and we're going to get these uh, transferred from the tray here into these cups real quick. And I'm anxious to see how many we've got here. So let me put her down and we're going to get busy. I've got my potting soil down here, my potting soil mix. And I'm going to have to take these out really gently because like Rob was saying, some of them are kind of a little tender. It's probably because they've been inside. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how much soil to put in there quite yet, but we will see here. Oh, they come out really, really easy. All right, let's get something out here so I have room to put these. I think it's that time of year when the greenhouses get kind of crowded. So my question, how many of you guys like to have cut flowers sitting around your house. I know I do. I'm looking forward to having these sitting around our house. That's going to be so pretty. Hey guys, guess what? It's time to upplant the dill. I've been out there in the greenhouse for just a little bit. Kind of got started on it. I was doing something else and recording the video for you on the dahlias. However, my phone overheated. So now we're back out here, now that it's cooled down, by putting it in the refrigerator. <laughs> so, girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So what I'm doing now is, I had to put Lolly down. Like I said, I have been up potting our dill. Our dill got to a certain point and it needed to get up potted because it was just getting too, too much for those little egg cartons. So I've already got 20, look, yay. I've already got 20 of them. So I'm gonna stick you over here real quick and I'm gonna have you join me and we're gonna go ahead and get the others up potted. Now, if you remember, this is the common dill that I got from Baker Creek. And this is my Baker Creek dill. I'm really excited that it's going to be able to go because there's some recipes that I found that I wanna use the dill with, along with our homemade pickles. Now, I still have pickles left over from last year but I'm telling you right now, as soon as my kids come, pickles get broken out real quick. <laughs> so um, all the grandbabies love the pickles and they love Elise's pickles. And so um, we'll go ahead and we'll break those out when the kids come and when, you know, company comes. And I also like to break into them too. So anyways, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of filling up my little cup here, just a little four inch. And then I am pushing up on the bottom as I'm gently pulling to get my dill out, putting my dill in there, and then just covering it up a little bit with my potting soil. And then once I get all these in here, I'm just gonna water them in. So, there we go. I've got a recipe for refrigerator pickles that I use every once in a while, not very often. But then there's also a recipe that I have that is for actual dill pickles. 
Um, and then there's some recipes that you can use dill to make meat dishes or entrees with and different things like that. And so dill's kind of a handy herb, 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 herb to have around. So anyways, I'm just kind of excited because now it's time for all of those seeds that we started together not too long ago to go ahead and get them going. I don't know. Um, I've probably already posted my video, but um, I've already got potatoes in the ground. So that's pretty awesome. My papa always said that you do, you're supposed to do that because um, we're, I mean, I got part Irish in me for a shower. Um, but he always said that you're supposed to do that on St. Patty's Day. But because we live in the South, we had to do it a little bit earlier. So St. Patty's Day would be a little bit too late. Huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I need some labels here. Sneak in. Oh, Sorry. Okay. I've got some Sneaking labels. Sneaking in, ain't you? Yeah. So Rob's been over there working on some fig cuttings. Yep. So I don't know how many figs we're going to have when we start this nursery. It's like... Every time I talk to him, he's doing some kind of a fig. <laughs> him and his figs. He'll be over there on his iPad during the day, during the evening. I'm like, what you doing? He's like, looking to see what fig bed has. I'm like, you already got so many figs. Why do you need more? So, anywho. <laughs> All right. I have got about three more little things to get going here and then we will be done with the dill. I also was working with Rob and you'll have to check out our video on dahlias. We're doing, we were both working on the video, him for his nursery channel and me for our homesteading channel to show you guys because if you read the description it tells you that we would really like to get into like cut flowers and farmers markets and you know plant cells at the farmers market and stuff like that just to kind of help supplement the homestead and help us to get a few things that we're wanting to get here at the homestead. One of the big things Rob wants is a tractor. <laughs> There's a lot we could do with the tractor here, but we'll just have to wait. We do have a tiller. I think what? it is. We've got the tiller, right? For the back of the tractor? Yeah, rotivator. We, rotivator. we just need the tractor. <laughs> so. We're kind of, that's one of our goals that we would like to do is to get a tractor here in the near future. So we'll see. I don't know. All right, last one. So I ended up with 26 dills, which is pretty cool. Now these that didn't happen, what I'm gonna do is put them right back into my potting mix. So kind of stir it around, give it a good stir. And it is good to go. Oh, I got some of my dahlia seed that goes in with the compost. And I'm just noticing we're going to have to pick us up some more uh, potting soil, aren't we? What's that? We're needing more potting soil, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, because we've got, I don't know how many trays of these in our grow room. Those will be coming out before too long. But um, let me show you real quick what we've got done today real quick. All right, so this afternoon I went ahead and Rob and I worked on propagating our dahlias that had came up in the seed room. And these are them right here. We ended up with about 38 of them. And so these are all dahlias for our cut flowers for putting in the farmer's market and for bouquets and such. And then over here we have got our dill that we up potted and that is the bouquet dill. I made a mistake. It is the bouquet dill from Baker Creek. So, um, Lolly, honey, the flowers aren't on there yet to sniff. No, they're not. Wanted to give you guys an update. The other day I went and let me get, wanted to give you an update. Here is the, um, finger Greek that I up potted the other day and brought out here to the uh, greenhouse so it is doing great and then also let me come over here look at our leeks guys they're doing great and over here's some mustard whoop sorry over here's some mustard over here's some bok choy that we've got going and then he's succession planted so we've got like kale back here we've got some more 
um, bok choy coming up right in here. You can see that and some leeks. Um, and then over here, he's got some fresh no chilies. And then he just kind of let them go and see how they kind of have self seeded. So that's pretty cool. All of these are little chili peppers. They're not weeds. They're actually little chilies, chili reds. So that's pretty exciting. We've got some more kale and it's coming up and doing good. So that's pretty exciting. Now, this is my baby's breath and in the grow room, it was starting to give me a little bit of problem. So I thought maybe if I up planted it, it's plenty, it's got enough moisture. I'm not exactly sure. So I might have to end up just direct sowing it and seeing if it will go good that way. We'll have to see on that one. But then there's my other tray of fenugreek that it is still doing great. And then over there is our sun gold tomatoes. Let me lift this up here. This is what we keep it in for during the night. But you can see some sun golds over there. Yum, and some blooms. I've already had a few sat on a salad before, so doing pretty good, huh, babe? Yep, they're looking good. Well, yep. I mean, they're they're pretty puny right now, but they made it through the winter. Can you they believe did. that? It's February 20th. And we picked on them all winter. Yeah, th those have lived. And then, of course, we got about, what, 40 more over there? Yep. It's ready to go? We do. Ready to pot up. I need to pot those up, too, at some point. Yep. Awesome. Oh, and then over here is Comfrey. Rob uh, did the uh, video on comfrey, and you can check that video out on his Brown Thumb Nursery. But um, he got comfrey going for me again. Yeah, and that's you're getting to see the updates of it growing. You, I didn't show the updates yet on the uh, on the yeah, Brown Thumb at, Nursery. Look how it's growing yeah, look at this. Yeah, so I'm gonna how do an exciting. Up, I'm gonna do an updated thing once the rest of this, because this is comfrey here too. And it's just barely some of it's just barely but i got a whole tray of it like that in the like in the, this in the grow room as well like this one here that was just cuttings and so i got another well i have quite a few more can't show you everything can't, <laughs> can't give it all away but all right got lots of lots of updates to show you yep yep so we're going to sign off for right now we've got some things that we got to get to we've got um a couple things going on at the church tonight and everything so mm -hmm. we're going to yeah. head there and we've got to get our brown thumbs cleaned up Mine already washed off. Ah, uh, I got two brown thumbs. Good job. Thanks. Proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, it was wonderful hanging out with y'all this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, seeing what we're doing out here and everything. So, you guys have a wonderful evening. And y'all be blessed. Yep. And we will. We'll catch you on the south side. God bless. Bye, guys. <laughs>